This one's a contender for the best reverb pedal we've ever heard. The sound quality on this is bonkers. A couple of design choices hold it back from being super flexible, but honestly no complaints about how beautiful and lush this pedal sounds. And I love making complaints. I don't have any complaints right now. <laughs> Thank you.
Just making noises into the microphone. We used to have pin-on microphones, uh, and now there's a flying microphone. It is indeed flying. <laughs> Wee! Holy guacamole! That's what we had earlier. We had guacamole earlier. We really did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, the Chipotle bag's gone now. Oh, it's over there. Um, my my my. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I don't know if you watching at home or you know, laying in bed with your pinky under the phone right now looking at this video. I don't know how you feel about what you just heard. What I would say about what I just heard is that I really liked it. I have, we've reviewed the back, back talk, talk back. Oh, that's the Dan Electro pedal. The Dan Electro pedal that mm-hmm. it all is all like reverse tape kind of a sound. Um, I have, I own a Roland Chorus Echo, like a tape delay. And, you know, I've heard a lot of different delay pedals. This sounded really good. It sounded, sounded awesome. like a lot of them. The uh, reverse portion was a little more gooey than I like. I think that's what I like about the back talk is that it's, like, very choppy. So it feels like strips of tape just, like, playing back. It has, like, a very, like, staccato sort of feel to it. I understand what you mean by gooey. I agree. Yeah, totally gooey. agree. Very, very gooey. Um, but like the timbre of the pedal, everything sounded great. It says dual DSP on the pedal. Sometimes I wonder why they put little stuff like that on there. Hot words and buzzwords, man. Yeah. Like Artisan, a- artisanal, deluxe. Can we talk about that word? That, ru- that word got ruined by like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. That's the only thing they ruined, and I think I can live with that. Mm. Um, no, th- yeah, this pedal says dual DSP. Uh, obviously, oh, what? It also ruined my sense of self worth. What didn't? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> Ooh, coffee. <laughs> this pedal is amazing. It is amazing. I would. I, it's this, great. This is not a pedal that I, I would put on a pedal board, but I would absolutely have it on my desk. But I would put it on a pedestal. Get out. <laughs> no, but there's like, no door in here. There is no door in here. We've That's never true. left. We've never left never this room. Never left this room. Um, we're like John Oliver, except for our spaces, uh, the inside of a space station. Um, I would put it on my desk and run the line in and line out. Oh, for my some Apollo. reason, I thought you said the inside of a PlayStation. And I was like... It's the same thing, Paul. You've always been here. Good luck finding a PlayStation right now. I'm trying to play Last of Us 2. Do you know how much a, a, a new PS5 goes for now? A new one. A million space bucks. Oh, dang it. You're right. <laughs> no, but on Walmart, they're ten ninety nine. They're no longer five or six ninety nine, whatever they were. Great, all that. What an economy! My God. Well, this pedal is worth the money. Don't know how much it is. Probably less than a PlayStation Five. Uh, hopefully, and more available. More available. It looks like a fucking printer. Um, this thing sounds beautiful. Uh, of note are by Jason. Of note are the switches. So where it lacks a little bit, there it is. Where not like lacks, but where it has like some. No focusing. Odd distinctions is that at least without. Oh, I'm going to bed. Uh, without getting too much into like the USB port and the uh, control input. Looks like it has. Uh, I think for the pedal and it's for an expression pedal. Experience switch. Yeah. Um, if we plug it in, you get more experience. And then the M1D1 on the side MIDI, on the side. This pedal just in and of itself is like delay. Change the delay engine. Reverb. Change the reverb engine. You can turn them on. Um, uh, independently, but you can't necessarily modulate them at the same time. So if you are wanting to go modulate or change delay engines, you have to go and flip a tiny little baby switch uh, to do that. It's I think it's plastic, but oh. they did like brushed metal. Brushed That's plastic. actually really f- fucking hilarious. Is it plastic? It kind of does feel plastic. <laughs> but they did like the whole brushed metal thing. That's that's metal, right? Is it? I think so. Oh, I feel like a goddamn chimp right now. I'm trying to crack open a fucking coconut. This knob is not loose, but like, do you see it move? I do see it move. My god. All right. Let's hold it up and high five in front of it as it as we do like a zoom right on where the pedal is. You ready? Mm-hmm. 